So the long journey to the summit of European football starts with the opening fixture of the Champions League. So quite a contest we have in store. Just listen to the noise level from the stands. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. There's the whistle, and here we go. It's our one. Now he's wondering who wants it, and he's there to cut it out. Forward it goes. Passes it through. He's got through. Feyenoord has a shot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Eric Bottegin against Tornstra. Out wide to the right. to Vilhena. He tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Cavani. That is terrific skill. Hits one! Aimed long and direct. Oh, they could break here. Over to the left. Now here's the through ball. Neymar. Paris Saint-Germain to retain the ball, but are seemingly in no rush to break forward. Neymar. Tony to Vilhena goes looking. Kruzawa. Goes loose, who's getting there? Against Tordstra. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. It's a good foot in there. Di Maria. like a good ball through it's a loose ball the ball's loose and he's after it now a chance to break Thiago Silva Bilal Basachikoglu Basachikoglu looks to slip it through. Bilal Basachikoglu with the ball through. Kuzawa. He's a clever pass. Now it's Cavani. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Neymar! Good try. 
away. The outcome could so easily have been different. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to say from up here, I know. Di Maria knuckling down that right flank. Now it's Cavani. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Plays it out to the wing. Gets into some space. Goes for the cross. It's well blocked. And back out it comes. Big chance! He's done very well to get to that. Yeah, I thought the keeper did well to retrieve that. They work all week on that sort of situation, and he reacted very well then. Cavani. Forward it goes. Tony de Vilhena. Plays it out to the flank. Going through. And the weighted pass. Kozawa. Tries a through ball. Keeper's ball. It's Neymar! Di Maria. First 45 minutes are up. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So we're just settling back into this second half. Paris Saint-Germain playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half, despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. And Tunstra. Now the pass. Bilal Basachikoglu looking to get on the end of this. Torita Vilhena. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Thiago Motta. Thiago Silva plays it forward. Tony de Vilhena battles to win it back. Al Ahmadi. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Feyenoord seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Thiago Motta. It's Di Maria. Could try cutting inside here. Gets up to head it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Talk about singling someone out. Well, they know he's the root of potential problems, Peter, and they seem intent on uprooting that problem like that. Get it forward quickly. Tries a through ball. Floated through. He's left his man. And he has been fouled there. <laughs> Aimed long and direct. Al Ahmadi.
Cavani absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Up for the header! Gorgeous from Cavani! Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. tough etc um, they can still turn this round I think it's Basaccia Koglu Al Ahmadi plays it into the channel Prazawa cuts it out Viner are definitely going about this the right way well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it isn't it Jim well there's no two ways about it this is what they have to do it back of the net and there's the goal they've been looking for oh the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring yeah i just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved he gave it everything he had that was in the offing, last one allowed. Paris Saint-Germain took a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Looks to slip it through. No, no way through there. Thiago Motta. Neymar passes it through. Beautifully done. only by poor finishing look it, it was achievable Peter but it needed his best Tony de Vilhena Top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And the shot! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. Been taken short. Al Ahmadi goes looking. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. Yeah, it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Di Maria. Hoists it high and through to the goalkeeper. <laughs> Looks like a good ball through. Neymar. Oh, sweet feet. Plenty waiting in the middle. Hooks 
passed out to the wing. He's left his man. He's making good use of... He's gone for it! Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. Paris Saint-Germain have got off to an ideal start. Three points on day one, and it bodes well for the campaign ahead. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board. And it's mission...